Are you ready? Hey, yo, guys, what's going on? Tank here, coming in with the next installment of Super Battle Road Team Building Guide, and we are working on Goku Family today. So, Goku Family, let's see, we got Vegeta, Kid, Kid Vegeta, Tron. Okay, so it's all Vegeta people, let's keep that in mind. As we run through who our best options are going to be. I do want to... No, you can't run them, I guess, so it's not fair to look at them. Uh, I would not run them free to play. I mean, nah, I would, I would, rather, I would not run them if you, don't, if you don't have to. Look, let's get everyone together. His easy A is going to be out, so we will view him. Not gonna run that Bardock. Because this Bardock's way better. Um no, she's terrible. Mm, he's not the worst. No 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 uh, I think you might, yeah. Uh no, there's no movie bosses. There's no Goku family, but there will be two enemies. Oh, she's easy. A was out. Mm, trunks, trunks, trunks. No, there will not be a trunks, so I would not run him. Yeah, there's so many good options. Like, I'm gonna start clicking on people you would actually want to run plus i've covered a lot of these units and how good they are in super battle road in general so i don't want to cover the same unit twice or three times or four times i'm not going to go over him but yes run him if you have him yeah we're gonna skip all this i wish i had this guy not for this uh, event exactly, but I do wish I had him. Alright, so there are some... This is also supposed to be a very difficult one. There are some units like Goten, right, who, aren't, who isn't bad. Um, this guy, he's also not that bad either, but there are units that I'm not going to click on to review. Like, this guy's not the worst, but... Uh, I'm just trying to pick the top tier units that you can hopefully pick. That's cool. They added that. I didn't realize that. It'll show his animations. Okay, anyway. Um, so this is, I think, the best Goku family lead, right? He's uh, 130 HP in defense. Yeah, so definitely the best lead right here. Um, he's going to raise defense, so you want him in slot 2 or slot 3, and he's got um, a 30% chance to evade a super attack encounter. Don't count on it happening, but it can happen, so that could save you. He also gets key plus two for rainbows or AGL, so very easily will he get um, this 18 key. Definitely, definitely getting his 12 key, so very, very valuable, very strong. Also can get this too, so definitely a good unit. Probably a floater, just because I don't think his defense will be enough to hold. Um, these guys, they could be a set another lead. Um, definitely not a super battle road unit. This is pretty much their best bet. They can, you know, double and triple super attack for sure, getting, you know, three two like three to you know three point five mil. So they can they can do well um if offensively, but just defensively they're gonna lack because they need to build up a lot of their defense. Because they only start out with fifty eight percent. So this guy, after his EZA, becomes very good. He is a big-time healer, right? So we'll change all STR to AGL. He heals a fuck ton of health, so super valuable right there. And um, he's going to get this additional 5% per key sphere obtained. So he'll get 25... Wait. Yeah, t 25 attack and 15 defense per key sphere. That's just a lot. Because we're on a Vegeta family enemy. The entire thing is going to be Vegeta family. So if you have him, I ha like I have him, 
pretty much ready to go. Just need some freaking orbs, man. I need like 10,000, 20,000 AGL orbs right now. Um, he's going to be a really good unit to run. This guy, um, he's the lead, which is why he's up here. But besides that, um, he's not that great. Uh, he will gain this 60% uh, defense because of the Vegeta family. Um, otherwise, he is uh, just 90% uh, when performing a super attack. So keep in mind, he needs to attack first. Um, he does get a boost of attack and key. The key is really going to matter because these teams doesn't really need key when HP is below 60. But he, he won't be the worst. Uh, you, you can run him with items, of course. Um, this guy, probably going to be one of the goats because he's going to destroy enemies. He's going to lower attack. He's going to seal. Um, he's just going to come out with retarded 5 million plus attack stats constantly. So, And he creates rainbow orbs. This guy, we're not even going to cover Super Saiyan 2 because obviously he won't be able to get it. Um, but he will raise defense, so really good slot 2 uh, at person. Um, he has good stats so overall just because of him being a really good LR. He does build attack uh, at each turn. Um, so he's pretty okay uh, defensively. Like He needs like a, a turn or two or if he double supers or something, and he, he'll be fine, especially if you're using items. But turn one, he can get you clapped. This guy, um, I think he, he definitely won't have the best defense in the world, but he is going to attack so hard, I think we'll be able to live. <laughs> um, this guy, his easy A is going to be out, so we can cover him. So he greatly raises attack and defense, so really good slot 2, slot 3 enemy. Um, raise attack by 30% and chance of performing a crit by 10% for one turn. So that's actually really interesting. Because that would be a really good mechanic in slot 1. So that's interesting. Um, he's 59% plus an additional defense as the first attacker. Yeah, they want... they it, You benefit more putting him in slot 1. And then he'll get an extra... Okay. And then all allies key plus 3 when attacking extreme class enemies. That's, that's pretty cool. He's a pretty good unit actually. So definitely could be running him. This guy, um, he's okay, but you gotta be real careful here, otherwise you'll, you'll just die. Uh, this guy, especially at 55%, uh, one of the best, I think, LRs at 55%, raises attack and defense. 12 key, uh, 18 key, greatly raises attack and defense for 3 turns, right? So that one's actually a bit stackable. Um, per pure Saiyan or hybrids, you should be able to get this full 55% easily on this team. Then he has a 50% chance to dodge. For seven turns, which uh, easily you will, you should have. Um, this guy, we don't have his easy A yet, so he really is just a good support, and he he does give a lot of support. But if he gets hit, he only has um, twenty five percent chance to dodge. I made him full dodge. Uh, obviously, I'll change him once you know this comes out. But he, he is uh, he's a good support unit, but he he'll get you killed. Um, this guy uh, probably would not want him at all, but he will completely obliterate anyone on the field. But then in return, he will die. So <laughs> probably not your choice. Um, definitely an easy choice. You're going to be bringing him 70% chance to dodge. She can actually be really good, right? She can uh, recover you a lot of HP. And she has a good uh, medium chance to stun on her 18 key. Well, or not 18 key, or 15 key. Because she's, that's right, she's like a little bit different. Um... So she's actually not a bad person to bring. You just are gambling here. If once that damage reduction procs, she's great. 55% damage reduction, she's fantastic. If it does not proc, you she'll get clapped. And then her active skill can pretty much end whatever else is on the field. Um, this guy, no. no you need his EZA for sure. Uh, after his EZA, I actually love this unit. As long as Goku's on rotation, this guy doesn't take damage. 58%... Um, no, 58% damage reduction when Goku's on field. So, super tanky. Really, really good first slot unit if you need one. Um, so, yeah, I'm definitely bringing him for sure. Bardock. Bardock's okay. Bardock's not a first choice. Um, most of his passive is not being activated, but you know, he still uh, has pretty strong stats. Uh, this guy, yeah, he's okay. Uh, does raise his own defense. He has a little bit of damage reduction. And uh, as he transforms, he kind of gains a little bit of his damage reduction, but he loses defense, so kind of equals out. He's just okay, not a first choice. You definitely bring him. Um, 
I could, I'm already thinking of my rotations, and it sounds really good to have him on one rotation because he's slot one, and have the other Gohan on the other rotation as slot one. Uh, having a really strong unit to put in slot one is is massive. So he guards all attacks, and then after receiving that first attack, he gets his 40% damage boost. If you make it to turn five, which you could because of how long this is, he then will be um, where is it super effective against all types when facing one enemy whose HP is 58% or, or more, or Majin Buu Saga. So you might not get this super effective against all types, but his greatly he greatly raises his attack. He's going to be hitting so hard, it probably doesn't even matter. Um, another really good super battle road unit. We covered him actually in movie heroes. He were gonna, he's going to be covered in youth as well. So he's going to be, he's really good to use. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is he doesn't keep this high chance to, to dodge uh, if he is being attacked first. He needs to attack first to get this. Raditz, really good super battle road unit. Probably won't run him because I'm thinking of my team and it's a little bit different, but. He is a really good uh, unit to run for a slot because he has a guaranteed stun. Yeah, damage received by 50% and facing two or more enemies, and he has a guaranteed stun. That guaranteed stun does only last one turn, but if uh, it, this procs, right, he has a 50% chance here where it would last two turns. So a very, very good unit. Uh, I don't think I will be running him. Um just because he isn't linking at all really with anyone else. Now, a free-to-play unit, he's not bad. He's going to be super effective against all types for three turns at least, so that's pretty decent, um, but that's basically all he has. His attack and his defense is, it has nice numbers, but like his stats are really low, so he's not going to have really good defense overall. This guy's not bad. Uh, you want him to really transform, but it is just hard. A lot of these guys are two units so it is actually reasonable to get him to transform it's still difficult though unfortunately uh because once he transforms he gets a high chance to stun right so that that could really save you and he gets a chance to dodge and like he's just a really powerful unit it's just hard to get him to transform unfortunately um more free to play units he's actually not bad at all um so he but doesn't there's no peggy guys or no youth so oh wait a minute no He's youth, and I think he's youth. Yeah, no, you can't run him. You can't run him. Because he self-stuns. <laughs> he he self-seals himself if he's versing Peppy or youth. That's stupid. Peppy was, like, funny. I, I just realized that youth part, that actually ruins him. Uh, he's a good support unit, and he also raises his own attack and defense for 9 turns for 30%, so... Uh, while creating orbs he, he can be really good and that's like slightly stackable to nine turns that's that's stackable that's really nice this gohan he's okay you need uh, him to definitely attack first to raise his defense um definitely if you're bringing him if you were doing this try to make this a bonds and master disciple team because then he can support that team as well uh i don't think yeah you need trunks so you can't transform this Goku, not bad. Um, he's going to have a medium chance, which is 30. 30% 30 chance to stun. Uh, so it's pretty good. Um, he, he has decent stats. He's not the best. Um, but like, as you get lower in health, he has more of a, a boost. So he, he could come in clutch. He can have a lot of defense, but it, it puts you in a position where you're like almost dead. <laughs> um, yeah, but his active skill is also really useful too really really strong active skill and it's really easy to actually obtain and it has a guaranteed crit so he can actually deal a lot of damage and stun so good enough this guy i'm so pissed like so so pissed that i don't have him he should came out on my birthday um so pissed that i don't have him because i freaking summoned on the wrong banner trying to pull him and i'm just like the biggest idiot in the world i was so tired i was doing freaking world tournament non-stop and i i summoned on the wrong banner i definitely would have pulled him if i was not an idiot medium chance to stun 58 percent damage reduction and he gives key and oh, come on man i'm i'm the reading him makes me angry that i don't have him um we've talked about them actually for movie heroes really solid they're gonna have a lot uh of defense um but let's see 
They will have this, because you'll have Goku for sure. There will not be a movie bosses though, so you won't have the extra attack here. This whole passive actually ends here. So this, this whole thing is gone. So he'll just have 200% attack and defense, which is great. <laughs> That's fine. And then he raises it on Super, so still a really good unit. And then he has his active skill where you boost everyone's attack. And then last, we decided to pick Stun Coup, where we kind of reviewed him for movie heroes. 70% um, chance to stun. Uh, if your health gets low, he's got a massive defense boost and attack boost. So, yeah, really, really good unit. Um, let's see, though. Who are we going to be picking? All right, so... Probably going to go with him. Can't run them both. Right, this website's smart. I like the website. I'm just picking really good units. I'm actually not even thinking about like rotations anymore. Like another one that I'm like... I want to pick him. Him. You can try. I might take that Raditz instead, actually. I might take that Raditz. I mean, I'm just. I mean, these are like super defensive. Like, don't want to bring. I mean, he's he would bring a lot of offense though. But honestly, between, yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think I might bring Raditz. The Raditz is not gonna link like well at all. But he does have a guaranteed stun. Is this the team we're going with? Yeah, link wise it sucks. Link wise this team is not good. Um but defensively, come on. <laughs> This guy is my pure offense and orb changer. Uh, dodge, thank you. Um, keep him on... I'll probably put you and you together. Then you could be slot one. And then he'd be slot two. And then I could probably put him on the other rotation. With LR. And just keep him... Make him take the mo more attacks because he'll defend well. He'll defend just guaranteed better. And then he'll just dodge in the second slot and then you floating around with a guaranteed stun yeah i think this is gonna be really this I, this looks like easy to me actually um i guess we this is definitely what i'm gonna try um the only one i'm curious is is this one i'm debating swapping him out for like the stun coup but it's like i don't know he has damage reduction and he has a chance to stun like I don't think I would even need to switch him out. Yeah, I'm probably going to go with this. This is probably going to be the team I go with, actually, for my first attempt. Um, what are you guys going to try? There are a lot of options. Um, we didn't cover them all, but there are a ton of options. Um, I wanted to keep this relatively short, so I picked like the better of the options it, and to include some free-to-play options. So let me know what you guys are going to try. i um, very curious to see what people are thinking because there's, there's, there's a lot of ways you could do this. But we're going to call it here. Um, thank you for watching. Take care. Uh, have a good one.